Hey YouTube, it's Ryan and Paul here, back with uh, part 5 of our $4,000 haul video. Um, this is the last of it, I believe, unless we have a small toad or something hiding somewhere. But I believe this is the last of it. Um, we'll get right into it. Yeah. Well, the first thing here, you want to go to the Geeky Teakers or you want to go right up? Let's get some <clears> of the <throat> big stuff off the front. This is the Mummy. Who makes that? Um, Universal Studios. Yeah, Universal Studios. The Mummy. Mini Mates, it's called. It uh, looks like a statue, almost. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's built well. I'm yeah. not sure the value on all these things, though. No, The Mummy, and the next one's a Star Trek, Mr. Spock. Got all sorts oh, of pieces. Some... You can change them out and stuff. Yeah, Those are the kind of things here. that sell. Yeah, I want to say that might have been pretty decent. They're like interactive statues, it looks like. Like you can move them around in interchangeable parts. Yep. This one's made by Diamond Select, that same brand oh, nice. that does the yeah. banks. I'm sure that'll be decent, then. Uh, we got some vintage speed weight, uh, speed, speed racers. Speed racer. <laughs> speed racer uh, figures. Um, here's Speed Racer. Trixie, speed racer another again. speed racer, and Pops racer. Um, not sure the year on these. Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably 1999, so not super old. Packaging's a little discolored and uh, like yellowed them. and this bent a little bad. bit, but I mean they're still brand new. Just mention it when we list the stuff. Um, Next thing you got a Star Wars watch. This one's new. Yeah, it's probably just like a cheaper kind of, it is a cheaper kind of watch compared to the others you've seen in our other videos, but still, that's something else. So it's got packaging issues too. Anything that saw the light a long time in this place. Um, we'll go to these geeky tiki's here. Yeah, we got these. These are, I have no clue what they are, mugs? I, I think, think they're, they're mugs. Yeah, I think yeah, they're, they're big mo mugs. mugs. Yeah, and there's different ones. This is obviously a Star Wars Yoda one. I mean, the Star Trek one right here. Yeah. And there's Popeye. Popeye. Another Jawa Star Wars and the Dracula Geeky Tiki. I want to say these were decent. Were they? I really don't know how much money. I know there was like a, a Geeky Tiki toothpick holder that literally sold for like 40 bucks. It was like the Mad TV uh, Geeky Tiki. Mm hmm 40 bucks for that, so I'm I'm thinking these might be pretty decent. Um, we got four of these Despicable Me. Uh, we might even have these in previous videos. Yeah, there might be even more than this. It's just a Bluetooth we got, speaker. We got uh, four of them here with us today. Bluetooth speaker. I don't think they're, they're uh, you know, super expensive or anything like that. But brand new nice sealed pieces we can leave a lot of the back stuff and the same thing with this mandalorian child right here underneath that that's another bluetooth speaker yep that's another speaker and there's two of those star wars ones obviously here's a despicable me alarm clock right next to it while we're going through all the clocks here yep we got that i, th I think there was definitely another one of these oh, in another video and then, and then uh, spider-man alarm clock another Obviously, character figure alarm clock for kids' rooms. You would think, unless you're a collector. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. These are pretty cool. They're uh, cassette players. Toshiba cassette players with the Looney Tunes Tweety Bird on them. Couldn't really find anything on these new, so I'm curious about these. I mean, if you guys have been reselling in a while, you know to pick up you know, cassette players, Walkmans, Sony stuff, but... Toshiba, personal cassette players with Looney Tunes on it. Brand new sealed, pretty cool. Um, and just a couple other little things. We got this Taz small little clock here. It's miniature clock. And then... And then this Avengers toothbrush that you've seen. Uh, I think we have a Winnie the Pooh one. We've had another one. These are just child's toothbrush sets with the cup and everything. They'll probably sell. They're nothing big. If it doesn't sell on eBay, it was still just garage sale. Yeah, a buck or two at a garage sale. When we when we hold a garage sale, it's it's to move it out the door, so it'll be priced cheap. Same with this kind of thing. It's pretty cool. 
old uh, Aladdin clock. You can see it was priced down a bunch. It's got tears in the plastic and stuff. When we were going through Dan's place, we set aside a big tote. And any of these one-off kind of things, we would just load in a tote. And then eventually we'd come to make an offer. 150 bucks. For, for the tote. whole tote full, yeah. This is probably the same thing. This would be in the one-off tote. It's a Mulan figure. And then that was in it too. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear, Toy, Toy Story. Story. These, these these kind of figures will sell better than like the cheap clocks and stuff. These were a little add-in. Remember Dan gave us these? Yeah, these the were in the bags with some of the VHS These are I Disney found. exclusives too. So they're not something you got outside of the Disney store down there. And there's a Scrooge money clip. Ryan, you pull up a comp with these. I think that oh, was yeah. like 60 bucks or yeah, something. Yeah, I'll go through and some of the stuff we're looking up or looking at today, I'll pull up screenshots. Then, this is just a keychain, right? Yeah, that's just a keychain. Mickey Mouse, the old Steamboat old, Willie. Uh, Steamboat Willie. Yeah, the old version. And then there's this little keychain here. It's a this one's, Yoda. I think this is just a cheap thing. Yeah, I just found it and then I put the next one. But yeah. And then here's a little Mandalorian child. Uh, what is that thing? I think it's it says just a little thing. It says PRAM, Pram RC. Oh, it's a, is it a remote control? Yeah. Game? So it must have a little controller underneath it or something yeah, like that. Yeah, let's just zoom along. It probably RC. races around. And then you got these Star Trek uh, playing cards. Just more little things that were probably thrown in that one-off yep. tote. Probably, we could probably lot these up in lots of two and sell them for 10 bucks or something like that. Um, little Funko Pop figure thing here. It's made by Funko. It's just uh, a surprise mystery mini. Here's a cool piece. It does not work, unfortunately. Old He-Man radio. It's kind of funny we got this because we've been uh, selling a lot of He-Man stuff lately and we yeah. have a bunch more to list. I actually seen that in one of the bins in Dan's living room, like one of the first things I seen. Yeah. I was like, whoa, if he's got a bunch you, of old He-Man stuff, You can the see only it thing. has issues, obviously. Well, so this will, this will be sure. just sold for parts, but uh, still a cool piece. The thing that's interesting about Dan's is you get a lot of this new type stuff. Just new toys. And every once in a while you've seen with like stuff like this, the Pee Wee Herman stuff. There's a random toys from the 80s and 90s. So we're looking forward to going back there and digging deeper. He's got other houses for us to, that he's going to be pulling from. For us to look at so hopefully we can get back here in the next couple weeks yeah here's another example star rider play sets i saw this big lots and all this and i just thought that it would just be some kind of cheap toy thing you know nothing special i don't know what the heck star rider is there's people asking a lot of money for these little play sets so i'm gonna have to do a little bit research more research with that you know, That's a good thing about this business. You do a little bit of research, but yeah, yeah. if we find out these are worth money and we see them anywhere, or even the little figures, if they're loose worth money, we can pick them up at garage sales and know. Most people have no clue. No. that's This year will be better than next year. Last year, year will be one. better than the, the year before that. We'll just keep getting better. We're getting exponentially better every year. We think so, at least. I, I don't know so. what other people's opinions are. <laughs> you watch these videos and you let us know. There's uh, some old candy, if you want some candy. Oh, yeah. Um, there is. Just an M&M little train thing. I actually think this is... Some of the M&M stuff you make some pretty good money on. I don't know exactly what this one goes for. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, but I don't know. The little condition issue right here. The box is ripped at the bottom, but nothing the little tape won't fix if you wanted to keep it new like that. If you do this long enough, you'll find that about 40 50% of these will have mouse damage yes and anything with go, candy left they'll in go it. get that candy and they'll basically be ruined i'll just do a couple little things here and then i'll have paul take back over these little things like this i was looking them up like eight nine bucks plus shipping just a little yoda thing a couple little star wars pieces star wars. here yeah little chips i don't know exactly what they're but brand new a few of the lost in space johnny lightning deals those I, ones really aren't worth much, but a lot of Lost in Space stuff is highly collectible. They didn't make a lot of it for a long time. 
So it's weird to find it new like this and pretty exciting, but these ones are, aren't worth that yeah, much. I was just... excited when I seen Lost in Space, though. Yeah, we thought maybe there was something interesting, but... And they are, but, I mean, it's just, it's just cheaper stuff. But still, glad to have it. You want to take over for a little bit? Yeah. And then these Nikon uh, camera cases here, they were just in a box in that room uh, that we bought for 1300 Obviously, they were bought in on clearance at one point, but I think they're still worth, like, 19 bucks free shipping or something so yeah, they're probably it's worth money. more now than they were back then yeah a couple Two of I've, those i wish there was more of this kind of stuff too i like having that kind of stuff yeah in the store. and then here we go we got the men in black uh mikey with exploding body figure i have no clue what this worth obviously it was 3.99 in its day but who makes this let's see made in china galoob toys from the galoob toy company yeah and then here we got the Chewbacca. That is the mask. That's the mask that everybody uses. On, yeah, that uses on those videos and stuff for the uh, TikToks of scaring people. That's the one that's made by Star Wars here. Disney Hans Hasbro. That's a pretty cool little piece. You don't see a lot of these new. And then we'll go over a couple little things here. We got, obviously, the newer, older Kenner Star Wars. This is the Jawas. There's two of them here with their weapons. I don't think this is worth much, honestly. Probably 10 but, bucks. Yeah, bucks. but it's a new, to yeah. new toy. It's always nice to have new stuff. Then we got two of these here, the Star Wars Collector timepieces. It's a watch with a little figure there with a case for it. The Millennium Falcon case with the Yoda watch there. I haven't, I've tried to look these up. I didn't see much on them. I don't know if you'll find anything either. But it's cool. They're new. Here's another alarm clock. Another alarm clock. Let's get that out of the way. Minions. This looks like another musical toothbrush set. Just like the one earlier. This is the Winnie the Pooh one. A little box damage in the corner there, as you can yeah, see. Yeah, it's got a hole in the side. Yeah, but it's, it's new if you're Winnie the Pooh collector. If you want that even for your kids, I mean... This It'll will, be for sale. This will probably do better than the Hulk one. It's built better and stuff, too. And we'll come up front here. A couple little Yoda Star Wars with their tags. Is that candy? Yeah, it's a little gumball machine. Oh, a little gumball machine. Same thing with the Chewbacca. Uh, We've had these. They're not worth Chewbacca much there. I think we sold the last ones in a garage sale. Lot it up. And then we got the Star Wars, or, yeah, Star Wars mug here. I think I did look this one up. There's that one, and there was one in our yeah, other Yeah, this is video. a Disney one, 1999 new, but that's a pretty nice like one. 12, 14 bucks plus shipping, new like that, so. And then we got the Winnie the Pooh counting carrots. Is that? Uh, yeah, I think it's just that? a little child's it's a, toy. Yeah, it's a teaching numbers and counting child's toy. It's pretty cool, brand new. New. This is, again, this is, again, you're starting to go into the, the older stuff randomly, so... Hopefully we can go back and find more of this kind of stuff. For sure. The good dinosaur. Random Disney toys. Obviously, they're big clearance buyers, so. My daughter liked this movie. I think we saw this movie in the theaters back when you were allowed to, to live still. <laughs> um, good movie, though. Just a little piece. Only one from this movie, I think. Yeah. Here's and then a little Goosebumps Dreadheads. I actually looked that up. These this package money. is shot, and these are worth money. You ever so if find you're, these yeah. even loose? Yep, they're, they're worth make money. 20 30 bucks, I believe. But I wish this was in better. But everybody our age but... read Goosebumps in the middle school, yeah. and now they want the stuff. But and then we got what are these here? It's read along things. Oh, these read alongs. I think these were just thrown in. They're all read along books. I don't think they're of huge value at all. Lion but King, they're old. Sesame Street, Lion King again, another Lion King, Lion King. Yeah, this one's got to be cleaned up. Lion King. And then Star there's a Wars. couple Star Wars. Here's one back here, too. I don't, I don't know. Packaging's kind of jacked, a little dirty. There'll be some money sun here. Faded. And then there's you got more, more read-alongs. These are uh, Ariel Little Mermaid. They got watches with them. So that's a little different. Those are cool. They're old. Um... Next thing we got here is these two Barbies. They're old, they're new, they're dusty. They obviously have condition issues. They were stacked in a tote for a long time. But here we got the uh, Princess of the Nile. Looks like an Egyptian Barbie. And that's new. Obviously condition issues here. 
And then we got Princess of China Barbie. Both new. I don't know what year these are here. Let me try and read for you. I can't. 2001 and 2001. So they're not that old. They're both from 2001. So they're only 21 years old. Holy cow. I thought 2001 only. was like <laughs> right. last week. Yeah, we're old, dude. And then up here we got Bugs Life toys. There's three of them in a row. The first one we got is a Scout Squad. And then the next one we got is the Circus Battle Wagon. And then the one behind that is a Bugs Life. That's a big figure. Yeah. It's a electronic talking hopper. Room guard. So obviously it takes batteries. That's got some condition issues. Some fading on the packaging from sun. A lot of this stuff does. Then we got the Dilbert. I tried them both. They don't work. They don't work. No. Dilbert uh, Electronic Candy Dispenser. That's what it is. Those aren't worth much. I looked them up. Maybe 10, 15 bucks. And then you know more about these here. You talk about them. There's more of the geeky tiki type stuff. And these are again are like the toothbrush holder. Or they're called mini muglets. I'm not sure of the price. There's more new stuff. This came from that box of ornaments you saw in the other video. I think this is this is the salt and pepper shaker, right? Yep. Looney Tunes. Obviously, the box has some issues here. So, might end up taking it out of the box to sell it, but we'll see. A couple small things here. A little nightlight. A little Star Wars key thing for whatever reason. I don't even know what this is. I'm going to open that up while I get the rest of them. A little cheap coin bank here, R2-D2. Another little Mickey Mouse clock thing. This is built really heavy. Packaging's jacked. It's a Seiko. Oh, it's, so I've looked know. this up, right? It's a, it's a little uh, figurine, World of Crestonia. It's made of uh, porcelain, it looks like, or ceramic. Oh, yeah, I didn't even, I haven't even seen that. So, we got some nudity there. <laughs> some nudity. It's signed. It says 1994 on it. That might be something, I don't know couple little statue bus things music here. boxes none they of them worked work. yeah none of them worked but they are from a well-known music box company so if you do see that what it, is it right i don't even know how to pronounce it but if you see that name up there in black um they got high dollar music boxes yeah. obviously not these little toy ones but there's much larger ones that go for big money and then just batman a, car shield yep yeah, just a sun a shield for your windshield but other than that you know, we covered all this stuff, and then we, instead of putting it on the table, we just left the stuff in the tote. Bunch of little stuff. Paz dispensers, night lights, glue stick, you know, figurine stampers, a bunch of different kinds of those right there. Um, more Paz. This, I don't even know where the heck this came from. Aerator set. No idea. That came from that room. And then uh, another one of those watches with the messed up packaging. Unless that's the same one. That might be the same one. Let me put it back in here. And then a bunch of these lithographs again. We had uh, some in the other video. This came from the first room. And there's tons of them. I mean, there's a whole box below it too. Um, these aren't going to be worth much, but maybe we can line them up and make some money. I think they were, Dan said they were originally sold with the movies. And if you saw our uh, media video, you can see why there's so many lithographs. Because there was a lot of each movie. But yeah, Paul's just picking up now. This is going to be, I'm pretty sure, the last of our haul videos from yeah. that $4,000 haul. And we'll see once the 29th has, we'll be listing this stuff and we'll turn it around and update you guys as we go when we break even and stuff. Yeah, you can see that we've just dealt with totes and totes full of stuff. Hopefully we can bring you more of this kind of stuff. The older toys, like the Speed Racer, that stuff. The Masters of the Universe stuff. But I don't want to keep this video any Too longer long. than it already is. So... Yeah, please like and subscribe, and we're going to try to put out another sales video again today.
Yep. And uh, we'll have this haul video out soon, too. We do have another haul video coming. We got staged upstairs for Kathy's second haul. Yeah, we went the second Ithaca trip. We paid six twenty dollars for a whole heap of stuff, and that'll be our next haul video. So stay tuned for more of this type of stuff. All right, guys. Thanks. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.